Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with another watch review. Please thumbs up this video if you find it useful and subscribe to a blog to read videos on YouTube. This is the Ernst Benz Chrono Lunar Officer. Um, that's, a, that's a pretty long name. Um, I don't know why it's the officer, but it is. And I guess that means it's for like people with dignified class in the military. You could be an officer too. Um, Ernst Benz makes what I would say are vintage inspired aviator style modern casual sport watches <laughs> um, and this one is obviously a little bit more dressy and there's a lot to like about this piece um, this is among their larger watches and they are a company that make big watches that's something that they're known for um, that's just been their thing for a lot of years it's never been a trendy thing they're just they make big watches and you can see it's very very heavily aviator inspired and that has to do with the large applied Arabic hour numerals and the aviator style hands so what's special about this watch is that it incorporates the Swiss Eta Valjo 7751 um, automatic movement which has um, a lot of different features in it the case is 47 millimeters wide in uh, polished steel. The polishing is, is quite nice and uh, there are not that many companies these days that actually offer fully polished cases. A lot of times they will put some brushing in there or things like that but you know everything on here is polished. This is a highly polished case um, and that's you know that's the way they like it. The 7751 is built on the 7750 chronograph so it is an automatic um, and it's funny because you can see there that, you know, the size of the movement in comparison to the case. Um, so the movement has a 12-hour chronograph. It, and then it has a moon phase indicator. Then here it has a synchronized 24-hour hand um, along with the subsidiary seconds dial. And that's basically an AM-PM indicator. Um, and then you have a day of the week and month indicator. And then it has a peripheral uh, date indicator. The problem with the 7751, as I pointed out in the past, is that it's very, very hard to balance um, the dial because you have all this stuff kind of to the left and then there's a big empty space right here. So what Ernst Benz has done pretty well is incorporate the logo and name of the model over there on the right, which helps the dial you know, be a little bit more grounded and not look feel so heavy um, towards the left, which can, which can happen a lot there. But, you know, it's a, it's a nice... It's a nice integration of the 7751 as that vintage feel. Um, it's quite legible, and uh, that's you know pretty much all you can say about that. Um, this is the black dialed version. There's a few other dials of the Chrono Lunar Officer. There's a white one. Um, I think there's like four for this year. This isn't the first time they use the uh, 7751, but this is a slightly new style, and it's quite nice. Finishing is is very good on this. It feels comfortable on the wrist. I'll put it on a second. Um, it is only water resistant to uh, 50 meters. I would have liked it to be maybe 100 meters. Um, I think that would have helped it be a little bit more sporty. Um, what I do want to say about this watch is the strap. There's an alligator strap and it's it's a pretty handsome strap. It's a nice strap. Ernst Benz did a good job choosing a strap. Not only does it look nice and it has that nice shine that alligator has, but it's padded and it's just it's a comfy watch. Um, as you can see that this is a this wears a little bit larger, um, not just because it's 47 millimeters wide, but also because the lugs stick out a little bit. So um, it may be a little bit too large for my wrist, or maybe it's fine. Um, I think that if the lugs uh, slope down a little bit more, it'd look a little bit better on my wrist. I do have smaller wrists, so if you are a bigger guy, you're definitely going to like this. But it is it is considered um, a larger watch. Um, prices for this watch range from about 6,900 Swiss francs up to about 7,450. Um, uh, Swiss francs, so it's uh, it's a little bit up there, but it's definitely a nice piece, um, nice classic look, large size, and good integration of the 7751. You can see the full review on a blogtory.com. Thanks.